six inches on this side, five and a half roughly, maybe a little bit longer, than, a little bit wider than five and a half, but close to it. Okay, and we already know the height is 14. We're going to go right up to this from the frame to the wooden lip, to, I mean to the metal lip right here. And uh, so we're 14, and I think we already have a piece cut 14. And we're going to cut six and five and a half. Okay. All right, well, this is a piece of our foam. I bought this foam from Home Depot, and I forgot what it is or something or another. Maybe. Maybe it's just comparing the sizes here. I don't know. Yeah, it's I mean, size. a different, different type. Uh, but this is foam board. It's outside in a, in a wood section or inside your Home Depot, whatever your setup is. And then they sell this at Lowe's, Home Depot, and pretty much any major uh, household uh, uh, improvement, home improvement place. And this is foam insulation. And I say foam, foam board insulation. Um, it's a styrofoam insulation, and they make this compressed and they make it in half inch this is happens to be at one inch thick you can buy half inch thick you can buy one inch you can buy it up to two inches thick so you can double that and have it two inches thick it's up to you um, I think the one inch is suitable for what I'm doing um, it should block out just as much moisture and heat as the double pane insulated glass that's up there and uh, and so it, it, this is $20 for a 4x8 sheet. Now, if you have a car or a truck and you, haven't, you, know, you don't have a 4x8 bed to put it in, you're going to have a lot of stuff left over, and it's going to be useless for you to buy that, this much material, especially if you're only doing one AC unit. But I like to keep it around for other projects, so I got this piece cut off of a 4x8 sheet that cost $20. Now, there is small project panels that are eight bucks well, this price as I saw and they were in pink color styrofoam and they were one inch and I think there was some that were two inches thick and they were eight bucks for a panel a little bit bigger than this you could probably buy that and do two side skirts uh, four side skirts on, on a unit um, if you wanted to buy a small project piece and put inside your vehicle, I think it was two foot by two foot. I think they wrap them up multiple too, like multiple. They do have panels. multiple project panel packs too. You could probably buy and put in a car trunk or a crossover SUV or whatever, if, if you're you know driving something like that today. Um, and this I found to be the the least amount of trouble and 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 something that a person at home could do with minimum tools without anything fancy you don't need a saw you don't need all that fancy stuff the only thing you need is a good sharp knife and that's what I use and, and a razor knife really is not thick enough to cut this uh, the blade isn't long enough or it might be right on the verge so I use a really sharp uh, pocket knife um, a tape measure this is a straight edge I mean it's a paint stick but you could use anything for a straight edge a ruler or whatever um, and that's it so what, let's get to our measurements. We said 14 inches tall by 6 was one side panel. So we're going to mark out 6. Just kind of boring to do this. Maybe our cameraman could stop it until we, we get it marked out. Okay. Mark a bunch of times for our straight edge. And this doesn't have to be perfect, believe me. I mean, you're just cutting styrofoam, and the best part about the styrofoam is it's it's flexible and pliable. And I like that because you can wedge it in there. You can cut it a little bit bigger and wedge it in the window unit. It's not stiff like regular cardboard styrofoam. Yeah, it's not an exact, you know, uh, an exact science. I mean, so you start to cut. Go off a little bit, that's fine. Break it. And you want to use a thin, sharp knife. The thinner, the better. Otherwise, it'll beat up on the styrofoam. Then you cut it the second time. Obviously, the sharper, the better. It won't rip and stuff like that, like this is starting to do on me. See that? When I first started out, my knife was a lot sharper. When I did the other side skirts, 
something I wanted to say also. You can buy different colored duct tape. Now I bought white duct tape. And I know you might think, well, that's kind of silly. Why would you do that? But, you know, your AC's white, your duct tape's white. You don't feel like putting any fancy wraps on this or, you know, uh, making it, you know, fancy in any way. Did you see that? It sucked it up with static electricity. Anyway. Why am I putting this on here? So stop heat from seeping into the styrofoam? No, to stop the styrofoam. If I'm when I reuse it, when I reuse this in the same window, and I take this out, I don't want all these berries and stuff coming off the styrofoam. Oh, yeah. This, that peels off and makes a mess everywhere. So I'm blocking it up. So these are semi permanent now, insulating panels. Now, Walmart sells these insulating panels made out of foam for what, 10, 15 bucks? Yeah, something like that. But they're made out of foam. Foam foam, designed yeah, for. Yeah, real foam, like just foam. Like this kind of foam and this color. What, I don't know exactly what you're going to do with that permanently or long term. Or if the sun doesn't fade that. It doesn't seem like the sun would fade styrofoam. Uh, I don't know. I've never had any last that, you know, keep them that long to find out, honestly. But anyway, uh, you get the point of what I'm doing here. I'm blocking this off, making panels out of it, okay? Doesn't take that long to do. It's not that difficult. And I'm not doing it perfect, just enough for my satisfaction here. Okay. All right, so we got our white duct tape on our white air condition unit. And as you can see, I didn't screw this thing down at all. It's just the way it is. That's the way it's going to be until we take it out. Start with long stripping. This is pretty self-explanatory. Obviously, I didn't go wide enough. Now this part doesn't have to be as pretty right here, and I'll show you why, because we're going to put the skirts over it, right? Even over this top part, i got something to go over that, because all we have is a piece of metal here, and it's not fully insulated right here, but we're going to insulate that. Now a storm could come by and blow this thing right out of the window, but also in a, in a case that there's a fire in here, God forbid. This thing can be picked up and pushed right out of the window. All right, that's one of the things I like about it. Um, I can I can pick this up and push it out the window. block out as many bugs and as light as I can. Now when I get to here, when I do this corner, I want to kind of push my tape in the corner because when you come back and you put the skirts on here, you don't want the tape to protrude too much and stop you from squeezing a skirt in there. So that is one of the things that you do need to be mindful of. I mean, you can notice a big difference when you put a skirt in here. All right, let's stop this, and we'll get back to it in a minute when, it, when I'm ready to put the skirts in. All right, so I got my five and a half and my six, my, my side panels, remember? That's my six, that's my five and a half. All right, let's check the five and a half. See how that wedge is tight like that? Now I took this five and a half and I cut it a slight bit larger on purpose. And it's okay to do that. And it's actually recommended that you do. Now I can't feel any more moisture through here or any more humidity. Before I put it in, I could feel I can feel it right now from this side. 
So, here's a six. Now, obviously, if you have more time on your hands to do this, you can make it a lot prettier than I did. This is just a really rough draft of what it's supposed to look like, and in a couple of months, this is coming out at most. And I'll save these side skirts in case one day it has to go back in. Besides this window frame and all that, it's a rough and it's not even finished yet. It doesn't even have the proper stain. Uh, this is warped, so it needs to be replaced. So there's a lot of stuff that needs to go on here. But um, yeah, but this is this is the general concept of what you do. And. Uh, now I can definitely feel a difference here. Now I'm going to tape these in. This is where you would want to get your, I guess, your, your taping skills in order here. Tape that in and uniform it around. And it's going to show a lot more because it's the contrast of white and brown. Um, on a white frame like the other room, it was no problem. It didn't show hardly anything. Um, so I'm going to cut another strip for right here. And I'll put that in. And then that, that completes the window unit. And I'll show you what the ending result looks like. All right. Um, obviously, it should look a lot better than this. But I'm sure if you're using this method, yours will look a lot better than this one. And you can just go crazy with the duct tape after that and just cover this up if you want. Or you can just use your imagination and cover it up with something else. But it is insulated against sound, bugs, um, without putting any silicone on your windows, which is a big deal. A lot of people do that and they, they have to peel this scrap off later. And it's all over the place. Um, a lot of people struggle with how to seal these cracks and if you buy this unit and you're in a rush and you got this window unit and you're you want to put it in quickly and you want AC this is the biggest reason why I'm making this video because you're in a bind about what do you use for side skirts how do you stop bugs and insects and things like that and heat and humidity and all from coming through the window and you might wind up resorting to buying someone else's pre-made panels or some panels you have to cut that are even harder to cut you might wind up using a cardboard from the box like I did uh, when my first when I got my first window unit when I you know the first time I ever put one in um, you might you might run into all these things well here's something that you can do in advance to kind of you know I've seen people stuff pants and shirts and yeah and towels in, in the window unit temporarily and then never really getting around to solving the problem and it's all moldy and crap after that. By the way, they say these panels are mold resistant, so there you go. There's another reason, you know, to actually take this uh, and be a little bit more proactive about what you're doing in advance. You know, like if you're leaving a store with one of these, why can't you swing by the insulation aisle? And, uh, or if you're at Walmart and you go over to another place, a Home Depot, and just swing over there and grab, you know, some panels or some 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 of it in bulk and pre-cut it yourself uh, I showed you how easy it was to cut and, and this is basically it uh, people thank you all for watching I'm sure there are much better videos on how to do this but this is my quick uh, thing and like I said the reason why I did it see that doesn't look too bad and uh, the reason why I did it so quick was uh, and I made the video because it's so, you know it's such a simple thing. Why would I make a video on something that's so simple and silly? Is because it's those kind of things that get in your way when you're trying to um, you underestimate them. In other words, side skirts is one of the number one things that I always underestimate when I put a window unit in. I always think about the window unit and I'm like I'll find a way to put side skirts later. And I'm at home and I got nothing to work with. And that's that okay all right thank you all for watching all right so this is a finished product I know we we're fixing to be done but um, you know it's not pretty but it's my finished project and it's to my liking because it's temporary
very temporary. However, it's insulated and that's what needs to be done. If you're keeping yours in permanent, you can do whatever you want. You know, you could trace out and cut out pieces of, you know, construction paper, cardboard, I don't care, whatever you, you want to put in there to make it look uniform. If you're in if you're in home improvement, then you obviously can, you know, get your router out and cut out some pieces of a laminate or something and stick it in there and make it look all pretty. You can make it look like a piece of this plastic equipment, you know, uh, uniform, like that color. Um, but it's insulated first, and that's what you needed in the first place, right? So that's what this is about. Now I'll, I'll stop that, and I'll show you the other, the other location where the unit is. And this is the other location, and these are the sides, as you can see. It works, and it's nothing fancy, but it, it works. All right, thank you all.